A reminder about how you can protect yourselves. These are the most important measures you can follow. So stay home if you are ill. Please do not go out uh, and contact others. Certainly, um, there are social distancing measures as we've talked about, so things like bumping elbows instead of shaking hands, those sorts of things. What we're trying to do is break those pathways that COVID-19 can be transmitted by. Avoiding crowded places and non-essential gatherings is another thing that people can do from a social distancing perspective. Wash your hands often with soap and water or use hand sanitizer if you don't have uh, soap and water available. Avoid touching your eyes, mouth, and nose. Avoid contact with people who are ill. If you do see people who are ill in the community, avoid contact with them and their items. Remember to cover your cough or your sneeze with a tissue, or if you don't have that available, to cough into your sleeve or sneeze into your sleeve. Remember, too, to wash your hands even if you do those measures after that chat has happened. Of course, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, making sure that we all get our exercise, making sure we get our sleep, those are all important to maintain our body's immune system along with a healthy diet. Again, around large events and mass gatherings, the recommendation is that any event over 200, with over 250 people planning to attend, that those be cancelled or postponed. For smaller gatherings, you can contact public health services at our hotline and uh, get some, some guidance. Things to think about, though, are about who is coming to those sessions. So sessions that are for people who are elderly are not recommended. Um, venues where people are going to be taking crowd together, those are generally not recommended. Again, avoiding that crowding and uh, maintaining social distance. And again, a reminder around travel, we, avoid re we recommend avoiding all travel outside of Canada, particularly with regard to cruise ships. And if people do return from outside Canada, Canada it's being recommended that they self-isolate for 14 days. If you do choose to check travel as well, if you need to for essential purposes, keep in mind that you might have run into a healthcare system that doesn't quite operate the same way that ours does. There is a possibility that you may end up locked down within a country or that there may not be travel arrangements to return. So you might be away much longer than 10 